What's up guys, welcome back to another TK Tech video and today I've got a new note taking up for you. Well, kind of. This one's called Note Dex. The team from Note Dex actually reached out to me recently, surprisingly, uh, just to review their application. Now, I just want to say that all opinions are my own though. Okay, let's get into it. So Note Dex is kind of different to the other note taking applications in that actually it functions around flashcards. The basic principle of this is to make digital flashcards. So I've opened up here and you can see I've got two stacks already. If you click the plus button here, you get to create a new stack. Once you name your stack, you then go into it and then, well, you get this loading page. Now, this is a new application. Uh, it's a very new application, so there are a lot of bugs to it. Um, and there are so many things that I feel just need to be ironed out. One of them is this loading page. It, it takes a while every single time you go into or out of a stack there's this loading that has to happen, even though there's nothing in this stack, it just loads for seconds and it gets a bit annoying. So one, once we're in the stack, we can add as many cards as we want. If you click on a card, this is where you can edit it. So for example, you can put in text and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, you can add images, you can change the, the, the template so you can add lines. You can also write, so it goes into writing mode and here, I can write. You then get a bunch of colors up here. You get four pens. Each pen you can customize the color and you can customize the thickness, which is really good. You also get the eraser. You get a spot eraser where you can just erase a spot. Uh, and you can get a stroke eraser where essentially it just erases large strokes of writing. So if I just stroke over that, it'll erase that line and then I'll erase that line. The annoying thing about it is that I can't seem to find a back button. So if I erase something, I want to go back. There's no clear obvious back button and that's quite annoying but like i said hopefully they can iron this out with future updates what would be a really cool feature as well is that it would actually optimize the use of the uh, pen on the samsung tablets or on the s pens to actually use the button for example so that i can erase just by pressing the button instead of having to click the eraser i think that would be much better as well that functionality exists not only on Samsung Notes, but it also exists on, for example, OneNote as well. So it, you do see that across other third-party applications. So what are flashcards and how do you use them? So essentially, uh, you make a note. So you make a, you might ask yourself a question. Um, so for example, structure of aspirin. This is something that you want to remember on the other side is where you would actually put your answer. So here, for example, uh, ugh, I would draw a very, very poor structure of aspirin and then essentially what happens is that when you're studying for example you ask yourself this question and you'll be able to check the answer on the other side now i'm going to show you this better in a other stack for example this stack is called uh, mechanism of action so this stack i have a bunch of let's say drugs in this case each one is the name of the drug on the other side tells me how it works it's a mechanism of action so you can go through your cards like this and essentially you know test yourself flip it over and see the answer. What is annoying though, for some reason, again, this is a new application, so there are a lot of bugs to it, but one of the bugs is that the font changes by itself. So for example, the font here for clitoromycin has suddenly gone a lot smaller. Now, this is not how I originally put it in. I put it, and again, for the same for ibuprofen has gone smaller by itself. They should all be this font here. What happens, I don't know why, but sometimes uh, the font just changes by itself. So then I'd have to go back to it select all, resize it, let's say to font 15, right? And that is the font that I want it to be at. But then what happens, let's say I rotate it, and I go through to ibuprofen, go back to this one. Now this time, for some reason, the clothromycin uh, font has gone smaller. It's very buggy and it can get really annoying and frustrating to be honest, because you, you've spent time trying to make the font the same, make everything right. And then you go back to it and you're like, oh, oh, you think you've made the mistake of maybe not changing the font, but actually it's, it's pretty much doing it by itself. So if the people at Notedex are watching this video, please try and get that fixed. So I'll show you now how to actually make a card. So let's go, I'll go on uh, anatomy. So this is my anatomy stack. As you can see on this side, it doesn't have any labels, but once I flick it to the other side, I can see all my labels. So it's a really good way of just testing yourself. Let's say I want to make a new card. I just click on that plus button, and now I can make a new card. So let's say I want to call this, I don't know, let's call it the heart. We can put it in the center, and we can highlight it, for example. Um, and then what we can do here is that we can, let's say we want to change the background color. 
So let's make the background color gray. You can add an image as well. Now this is an image of a heart that I uh, got that has no labels on it. So this is the unlabeled version um, and you can very easily just move around the image, resize it. It's actually really easy to manipulate images on here. What we're then gonna do is just flip it around. Then I'm gonna add another image. This time it's gonna be of the heart with all the labels on it. And now what happens, I can look at this card, test myself, and then flip it around to see if I've gotten all the correct answers. You have a bunch of the basic tools here at the top. So you have the bold, italics, underline, highlighter. You can change the way your text is aligned. You can also do hyperlinks as well, and I'll show you this in a second. So for example, let's go on uh, the Nephron Anatomy. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, put a piece of text and hyperlink it. So what I'll do, I'll click on this. Now let's say I want to hyperlink a, a, a video about the functioning of the kidney. Call it kidney function. And I've already copied the URL, so I'm just gonna paste it here. Click OK, and now, and now I have the hyperlink text in here. So now what I can do is essentially, if I click on this button here, it gives me the video that I was that I that I linked onto it. So that's a really cool feature. Now I wish what would happen is that actually when you clicked on the hyperlink text, it would take me to the video. It doesn't do that. You then have to click on this thing here to get your your URL. But it's a really cool function. It means you don't have to copy and paste the whole URL. You can literally just uh, put a put a keyword in it and then hyperlink that word. Now there are actually a lot of other cool features um, of Note Next. I'm not going to have time to go through all of them, but there are a few that I really want to just mention. So let's go back to the mechanism of action stack. For example, what I can do is you can do something called tags. So I can actually help organize my cards by tagging them. If you go onto the card and you click this arrow button here, you can edit the tags. Oh yeah, also I just want to mention the screen savers that they have. A, the quality is quite poor. B, like, Y space, um, but uh, no, that's just besides the point. Anyway, let's go back to it. So tags, uh, let's say I want to tag uh, antibiotics. So, so that has a new tag. So what I've done now is tag clethromycin as an antibiotic. And I can do the same for amoxicillin. Tag that as an antibiotic. And so let's say you had a bunch of cards and they all share a particular property. Uh, you can go to the tags and filter it by that, by that tag. So now I can only see uh, my antibiotics. Now another really like quirky feature that I actually really like is the study mode here. It actually really encourages you to study using these flashcards, uh, especially when you use the keep score version. So in the keep score version, it will start off with the first card or shuffle your cards, and then you can essentially test yourself. So you'll look at the answer, see if you've gotten it right. If you have gotten it right, give yourself a tick. We'll move to the next card. For example, this one, let's say I look at the answer, realize I've gotten it wrong. See, the text has changed back to small again. Please, no decks, fix this. Anyway, so it's got, I've gotten it wrong. Put an X to it. It'll move to the third card. And now I've got amoxicillin and I got this one right. So now it says I've got two out of three right, that's 66%. Then it actually gives an option if I would like to learn the one wrong card again. And it kind of just encourages you to use these flashcards as a really good revision tool. So there are really cool features of this note-taking application. I just think that it needs to be a bit more refined. I understand that it's a new application. Uh, it's just there are certain things to it that kind of need to get sorted out. Just the aesthetic of it. For example, each menu icon has a different you know, theme. There, there isn't like a set theme to it. So this is white and black. You click on here, now it's gray and white. So there's no, there's no consistency and it, it really shows. Other small things, for example, so for all these icons pretty much share the same style, but the share button doesn't. You, can't even, you can barely even see it as well. Talking about the sharing functionality, this does actually have quite a good sharing functionality. So if I click on the share button, you can share it in a bunch of different ways. You can, you can share it as an email, you can share it um, as an image, pretty much any kind of way you want to share it, it, it works. You can share individual cards, um, but you can also share individual stacks as well. So um, you can share to OneNote, or you can even share it to the web. Once you do share something, it gives you a little share icon. Now, I actually didn't share anything, so again, uh, it shouldn't have given me an icon. Again, there are a lot of just these little bugs that need to get ironed out. So for example, this stack is called New Stack. I've literally changed the name to anatomy about three times and for some reason it just changes back to new stack. I think the biggest way to summarize this is that there is a huge huge potential for this to be a really good application. I really like the features that it has especially the study mode. I really like the idea of flashcards in general 
um, and I like the way they've decided to organize it. I do like the fact that you can have it in stacks and I also like the way you can share it as well. But they really do need to iron out all the bugs, the glitches and try to just improve the design of this. Try to give it a theme, try to give it an identity, try to make it all cohesive, try to make it all consistent. However, like I said, there are a very new application and currently I think it's only available on Android. But hopefully the more people that use it, the more people that download it, um, the better they make the application with more updates and things like that. So like I said, uh, there are promo codes in the description below. It does give you the application for free. So, you know, there's no harm in downloading it, trying it out, keeping it for future updates. So another cool feature is that you can actually access note decks on the web. All you have to do is log in. And as long as you log in with the same um, email address, you'll essentially get all your notes. So this is a really cool feature that actually isn't really shared across many other note-taking applications. The only other note-taking application that I'm aware of that uses this feature is OneNote. But this is something that I really, really appreciate because I can access my notes, or in this case, my flashcards from any device, whether it's my friend's laptop or a, you know, a library computer or anything like that. Anyway, guys, this has been a really quick uh, whistle-stop tour of note decks. If you do download it and you do use it, please let me know how you get along with it in the comments below. That's it for now, and I'll see you on the next TK Tech video.